Hello, my name is Paul Schmiedmeier and I will present you our paper Transitioning to a Large-Scale Distributed Programming Course. The paper was written in collaboration with my colleagues Lara Marie Reimer, Marco Jovanovic, Dominik Henze and Stefan Jonas. We are all members of the Technical University of Munich, located in Munich, Germany. The programming course covered in this paper is called the Swift Bootcamp. In general, the programming course is scheduled to run for 10 days over two weeks before the beginning of each semester. The programming course is a prerequisite of the iPracticum, a capstone course we offer every semester at the Technical University of Munich. During the course, students learn the fundamentals of the Swift programming language and how to develop iOS and iPadOS applications. Students are also taught about server-side development in the Swift programming language. The course is built on close interaction between the teaching assistants, called tutors, and the participating students. Tutors are often graduate students with experience in Swift development. Students have to submit homework submissions that are corrected using pull requests. These pull requests are used by instructors and tutors to provide in-depth feedback to the students, which needs to be addressed before finishing the homework. We have up to 10 tutors who supervise and support students. All students and tutors are located in a single lecture hall that provides students the chance to ask questions and have supervision during the lab times. Unfortunately, the lecture hall setting and in-person interaction were not possible the last semester due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This challenged us to transition the course from a lecture hall setting to a distributed online setting. The students attended a series of alternating Swift and App sessions to solve in-class exercises that formed the basis of their homework. There are a total of 12 sessions each two hours long. During the sessions and lab times, instructors and tutors are available to support students and answer questions. The tutor is the first point of contact outside the lab times and lectures. We had to tackle two main challenges to allow all students assigned to the course to participate. First, the different sessions, which used to be mandatory and on-site, needed to be distributed to the students. Second, during the live sessions and the lab times, students had to complete assignments and sometimes needed support in understanding the concepts taught in the sessions. We needed to transfer this to a distributed online setting. We solved the first challenge using live streamed, pre-recorded sessions while maintaining the traditional schedule of the Swift Bootcamp. In comparison to sessions that are presented live, we could prepare the session beforehand and correct small errors and mistakes in the recordings before we live streamed them. In comparison to just providing students with pre-recorded sessions, we used the live stream to provide immediate help using tutors standing by while the session was live streamed. In addition, we provided the sessions to students after the live stream to rewatch the session at any time. We were tackling the second challenge using chat channels and video meetings. The nine tutors were the first point of contact for homework correction specific questions and students could send them a message at any time. In addition, we created 10 Slack channels for session specific questions. Using these channels, both the session instructor and the tutors answered questions and resolved problems. In this way, other students could also benefit from questions and corresponding answers, and the workload in terms of answering duplicated questions was reduced. When a question was difficult to answer or a more in-depth code review was required, the tutors offered Zoom meetings which allowed a more personal and dynamic interaction. After receiving help in the Zoom meeting, students were obliged to post a summary of the answer in the respective session channel, so that all other students could benefit from the solution. 
to reduce the tutor's workload and to provide a common baseline for all students, we used a semi-automated code review process. We developed a code review bot for the Swift programming language. The bot enables static code analysis for Swift code and is integrated into our existing infrastructure using Atlassian's Bitbucket platform. This code review bot was especially crucial in the virtual edition of the course to make up for additional asynchronous and synchronous communication overhead created by the course's distributed nature. The code review bot uses a static code analysis framework SwiftLint and is a server application written in a Swift programming language. The student incorporates the feedback provided by the bot and it might take multiple iterations until the pull request is approved by the code review bot. Once the bot approves the pull request, the tutor provides manual feedback through the code's oval architecture and structure. As our course focuses on developing systems for iOS and iPadOS operating systems, students need to have access to a machine running macOS. During previous instances of the iPracticum Capstone course, we provided students with a laboratory equipped with 20 Macs. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions set in place by the government and the university, physical access to the macOS machines was not possible for the virtual edition of the Swift programming course. Luckily, a total of 55 of the 76 student participants in the distributed version of the Swift programming course did own or had access to a computer running macOS. In addition, we supported two tutors among the nine who were only using virtual machines with a MacBook that we lent them during the Swift programming course and their preparations. The high percentage of students who had access to a macOS machine enabled us to repurpose our iMac laboratory by relying on a remote desktop connection to the machines. Each student had one iMac assigned exclusively to them, which they could use during the Swift programming course, as well as the main capstone course. All machines were placed inside a virtual private network that students connected to before accessing the remote desktop software provided by macOS. Each of the machines was configured with credentials that were shared with the student the day before the course started. We could successfully transform the course in the distributed format. All students could participate in the course and students without a Mac could access a macOS machine using a remote desktop connection. It was perceived positive that students could rewatch the sessions at any time on YouTube. Even though a lot of effort was put into transforming the onset programming course into an entirely virtual course, some aspects left room for improvement. Some students hesitated to ask questions in the course by the communication channels. Besides, we received feedback like the effort of posting a question in the course by channel according to our template and posting a summary of the solution into the chat channel if it was solved in a one-to-one -one conversation, increased the barrier of asking a question for some students. The overall feedback was positive, and this could also be proven with a survey we conducted one week after the Swift programming course. We received 41 answers from students and 6 answers from tutors. 82% of the students agreed or strongly agreed that the automated feedback from the code review bot was helpful and clear. 75% of the students agreed or strongly agreed receiving automated feedback before the review of the tutor was helpful. This was an increase compared to a survey we conducted a semester before, where 76% agreed or strongly agreed that the automated feedback from the code review bot was helpful and clear and 69% of students agreed or strongly agreed that receiving automated feedback before the review of the tutor was helpful. In addition, 87% of the students agreed or strongly agreed that the semi-automated feedback process generated additional value compared to a manual review process. The semi-automated code review system and the homework correction procedure 
was also received overwhelmingly positive by the tutors. In summary, we can say that transitioning the Swift Bootcamp to a distributed format was a success. We want to keep using the semi-automated review process and improve its functionality for the next semester to provide more detailed feedback. Due to the increased number of COVID-19 cases, we will also conduct the next version of the Swift Bootcamp in a distributed fashion. We plan to reuse the recorded sessions while slightly adapting them for the next Swift Bootcamp. We plan to improve the process of getting help using a question and answer forum. This enables students to upload questions and solutions and tag questions for different sessions and topics. This might also reduce the barrier of asking questions as asking a question doesn't potentially notify all course members. In addition, we also plan to reuse the infrastructure setup from the last semester to provide access to macOS machines. We are looking forward to great discussions during the virtual conference and I want to thank you for listening to our presentation.